Hey, Lakeshore family, Pastor Charlie here along with my wife, Louise. We want to talk to you about the subject of communication. Now, I know that none of you likely feel like you've mastered the art of communication. Louise and I certainly do not think we've mastered this art. However, we do believe we can share some things with you that would be helpful. As a matter of fact, as we look at our lives, someone took the time early on in our marriage and invested into our lives on this very subject, communication. Louise, share a little bit about that with the people. Sure, yeah, this person encouraged us as a couple to set aside one day a week. Um, they called it a think day in which you as a couple would just cover different areas of your marriage together. Your, it could be your um, raising your children, your finances, um, communicating how you're doing in that. You know, in Amos 3.3, it talks about, you know, can two walk together unless they agree to meet? Another translation says, you know, unless they agree in the same direction. And so as a couple, you know, setting aside one day a week allows us to examine our life, mm -hmm. to make sure that we are both walking in the same direction in which we agree to walk in. Mm -hmm. And so one of the benefits, it does strengthen your communication as a couple. Yeah, another benefit is, again, just practically speaking, take a look at your week that you have upcoming, you know, for maybe it's Sunday you go over your week and you look at from Sunday to, to Saturday, if you will, and you might see uh, something irregular like, um, you know, a doctor's appointment, dental appointment, you know, maybe a soccer game or what have you, but you're looking in advance and then you, what you're doing is you're saying, I wonder who's going to be the one to pick up the kids or who's going to take, uh, you know, Johnny to the dental appointment. Maybe you need a sister or family member, a church member to help you, but you're looking in advance so that you're not surprised and it improves communication. Mm -hmm. And then one of the other, um, aspects of it is for us as parents, you know, making sure that as we disciple our children, that we are on the same page, that we're staying faithful to that. So it definitely allows us to, to have those short accounts, but then it also um, helps to diminish um, frustration that might build up when we're not hitting the mark on things that we agreed to mm -hmm. as a couple. Yeah, and then think about this verse, and I think it's applicable and very helpful as we wrap up uh, this quick segment on communication. It's found in Psalm 34, 3, and it says this, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. So in this context, Louise and I together, or in your whatever your context would be, right? Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name, Christ, together. And ultimately, that's the best communication. But see how they go together. So we pray that this has been helpful to you and you found yourself encouraged and you got a tool, if you will, or a couple of things that are practical in nature to serve you. God bless each of you that heard this.